guys, or tonight, I guess, and I have a Target penny board and an Amazon penny board. Both of these are 22 inch, yeah, 22 inch penny boards, but like I said, the only difference, well, there's actually a few differences, actually. Um, as you can see, this, well, this is the one I put the duct tape wheels on, but the duct tape really doesn't, I feel like, make all of that much of a difference especially now that's starting to wear off a little bit, but this Target penny board has plastic trucks and they're a lot more narrow, narrower. And then it also has like this sanded grip on it as opposed to this, that's, I think that's still plastic trucks, but it's got the traditional waffle grip like you see on most penny boards like this. But um, tonight I'm going to take these two out for a little skate around Arvada and yeah, just going to see how both of them perform and see which one I would prefer over the other. So uh, let's get to skating and see how it goes.
didn't like was just how slippery it felt due to it just being a plastic deck with no uh no grip as the other target penny board had you know some nice sanded grip that that made it feel a lot more grippy on my foot and um but i did like how the amazon penny board had a lot more flex to it and definitely i felt like was a lot more stable especially once i got the trucks tightened but yeah, other than that, I would say the Amazon penny board, yeah, it was definitely looked very used, as you can tell by all these scuffs along the edges and stuff. I mean, it doesn't bother me for it to look used, but definitely that might bother somebody else who perceives it as being a new board that wanted a fresh board that it when it comes in and it looks used, it they're gonna be a little bothered by it but other than that like comment and subscribe and see you guys next video